Welcome back to It Resolves, where we play a new deck every single day. Today's deck is Party Reanimator. Welcome back, everybody, to another standard gameplay video. I hope you guys are doing well today. I am really intrigued by today's deck. Uh, we'll we'll talk about that as we go through. I just want to let you guys know, though, before we jump into this, uh, if you happen to be over on Patreon uh, tomorrow, I believe it's tomorrow when this video goes out. Anyway. Days are getting run together. Uh, we will be uh, swapping over the rewards to the Dominaria pack. Uh, if you're interested in picking that up, please feel free. You have the entire month of August to sign up on Patreon to get that pack. It's only for select tiers, so do check that out. Uh, we'll start having ads, as always, in the video, so you can check that out as well, see what's in it. Uh, but I do believe it's Teferi, Karn, Mox, Amber, and uh, Muldrotha. So we're kind of celebrating the fact that we're going back to Dominaria by taking a look back at the pre previous Dominaria set, and I'm really excited about those. So I do encourage you to check that out. Link is, of course, down below. But uh, let's talk about today's deck. Like I said, Party Reanimator brought to us uh, by one of our amazing longtime community members, uh, Cole Simmons. So Cole, thank you so much, my friend, for sharing this list. I'm just going to go ahead and say I played this list once. I found a little mini combo in here that I'm sure, Cole, you have kind of thought about. Uh, but that led me to believe that there are quite a number of very subtle nuances to this deck that I am going to not get 100%. Uh, <laughs> let me just throw that out there now. This is going to be a learning deck for me. I feel like there's a lot of detail to this one. Uh, but the idea uh, is to capitalize on specifically Thwart the Grave. So this is our reanimator spell of choice. While we do have a couple graveyard shifts and some other pieces that we'll talk about as we get through, this is the big one. Uh, it does cost one less to cast for each creature in your party. So we can get this down to relatively cheap. Uh, but it is a sorcery uh, for 4 and 2 black return target creature card and up to one target cleric, rogue, warrior, or wizard from your graveyard to the battlefield. So this is a 2 for 1 potentially reanimator spell, which is obviously quite good uh, in this deck. So for the kind of non-party uh, element piece. Uh, just for big stuff to reanimate. We do have Olivia's Attendance here. Not a card I actually really thought about, but a Menace 6-6. Six, six, uh, when it deals damage, create that many blood tokens, and then you can actually just pay three and it deals one damage to any target. This really capitalizes on mana, of course, but also gives you some draw ability with that looting ability with the, the blood tokens. Just a really nice little little card here. We do have Olivia, of course, so this is able to you know bring back more stuff, so reanimation on a stick. We do have Titan of Industry as well, because why wouldn't you? Uh, we've got Coma, which is ridiculous, and then we of course have Xander. So mostly normal targets, albeit uh, I would suggest that the attendance is a little bit different. I, I don't normally see this. Uh, as I mentioned, we do have Graveyard Shift here as well, but if you look in the lower class uh, or lower mana cost kind of area, Obviously, we've got some removal, we've got Blood Chief's Thirst, we've got Consider and Otherworldly Gaze for some, uh, just a little bit of enabling of the draw and that kind of stuff. Tainted Indulgence, of course, kind of a usual suspect. We do have a Null Priest of Oblivion, which does allow us not only as a cleric, but to reanimate on a stick as well if we can kick it. Uh, Body Launderer is a rogue, which whenever it dies, you get another non-rogue creature with le equal or lesser mana value, or excuse me, power, excuse me, not mana value, from your graveyard to the battlefield. So kind of incorporating a little bit of a recursive element with this. Now, any other non-token creature allows this to connive, so you've got a lot of other stuff there. Uh, we've got the Stromkirk, which is going to put stuff on top of our deck and ideally flip it. Very complicated and, and all these little nuances. Uh, we've got Sanguine Spy as a two of. We do have Voldarian, or Voldarian Bloodcaster, which works extraordinarily well uh, with the attendance, as you can tell. Uh, we, we get to create quite a number of blood tokens and then hopefully go ahead and flip this. Uh, Slaughter Specialist is a nice little aggressive two drop. Uh, and then Malakir Blood Priest, which is a phenomenal card for this deck because obviously we just get to play it, drain some life, and then hopefully continue on with the game plan. So a really interesting deck here. I think Cole did a great job of teching this one out, but again, I think there's a lot to this one that I am going to need to learn as we go through. So Cole, I'm going to do the best I can for everybody watching. If I miss stuff, feel free to let me know, but this is definitely a more uh, intricate deck than I think we're used to. And so I'm really curious to see how it goes. I think it's going to be a blast. We're going to hopefully take it slow, but we'll see, how, we'll see what happens. Let's go ahead. Let's jump into game one. Let's see if we can get some wins. All right, guys, and here we are for game number one. This is a bit of an interesting hand. Obviously, the lack of blue mana is going to be a problem. However, we do have two slaughter specialists. 
we'll see. I'm gonna tr I'm gonna try this. I don't think this is a good keep, but I am gonna try it. Uh, and there we go. We at least got another playable card. And in particular, uh, this actually does create blood tokens, which is very helpful for us. And there is our blue land. So we're fine. Don't even worry about it, guys. Uh, all right. I think we just go Slaughter Specialist. Um, again, I'm not 100% sure on this because uh, I've only tested once, but we also, uh, there's a lot of subtle play patterns, I feel like, to this deck. So, you know, we'll see. Okay, nice. That's very good. Yeah, yeah. You got it. Uh, don't love to see that, obviously, but that's fine. Okay. Let's go ahead and throw this out. Um... I think it's just Sanguine Spy, is that correct? We could just do this and then Otherworldly Gaze, which is also not a bad option. Um, let's do this. I don't know that this is correct, but we're gonna we're gonna try. We're giving them all the one ones. <laughs> uh, it might have potentially been better to play the Bloodcaster, but I think we kind of want to wait on that until we have more Blood Token uh, options available. Wow, that's really annoying. Um, okay. They have got quite a bit, uh, hmm. Let's see. I'm gonna throw these two. We do kinda wanna get stuff into the graveyard because it does help us with a lot of other cards, but uh, we do kinda wanna keep the land as well. I think that's pretty important for us. So, all right, yeah. Kind of wishing we hadn't played so many Slaughter Specialists now, but that's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. Uh, yeah, I think we just go with the Sanguine Spy, and then we have Consider left up. We'll see how it goes. Um, not sold on this, I'll be honest. It's gonna be a little tricky, but... Oh my goodness, they have everything. Uh, yeah. I mean, I can't be terribly upset. Like, they kind of just have it, so I'm not... It's just annoying. Uh, that does help a little bit, although it's not necessarily amazing. They're gonna get a good solid attack in here for quite a bit. Yep. Uh, we'll go ahead and play the Marsh. Let's go ahead and Graveyard Shift for Olivia. Uh, let's actually attack in. Uh, it's not great, but it does give us a couple of extra things on the field. Do we just die though? I haven't really counted. Two, six, seven, eight, so we're at one if they have nothing. Okay, yeah, they got us. Bad attack, potentially, but that was just a mess. I mean, they had everything in terms of creature removal. So, hey, fair enough. You got us. Let's go ahead. Let's jump into game two. The brand new Reanimator Proxy Pack is now available through the end of July. If you'd like to pick up this month's amazing Proxy Pack, please visit patreon.com slash itresolves for details. All right, guys, here we are for game two. Let's hope for a little bit better this time. Uh, I do like this hand, though. We've got Tainted Indulgence, Consider as some enabling options, and then, of course, the Stromkirk uh, later on. So, yeah, that's quite nice. We'll just go ahead and do this. We get to consider an instant speed, obviously, so maybe we'll get to see a little bit of what the opponent is actually up to here. Uh, looks like the ramp deck. Um, do we want to keep that? Yeah, I think we do. We kind of need land, so I'm, I'm happy to keep that, actually. Um... Unfortunately, of course, we're going to get all the lands now. Uh, Alright. Um, so the question becomes, do we go for the Slaughter Specialist or do we go for the Tainted Indulgence? Because we have the Stromkirk, I'm actually going to go for the Specialist. Uh, the reason being here, by the way, um, if this dies, which if it does, it's not, that end of, it's not the end of the world. We can actually just get it back here. Um, and so I feel like that's probably worth it. We also do just have some very powerful threats. If we can get them in the graveyard with the Tainted Indulgence, we should be good. Um, excellent. Uh, so, let's see. I think first things first, we do just attack. I don't really think there's a, a reason not to. That seems pretty straightforward. Interesting, okay. Um, and I think I will go ahead and Tainted Indulgence. I know this is at uh, not necessarily the best time, but I feel like this makes sense on some level at least. Um, hmm. I think it's the Coma. So here's the thing. Uh, one of the things that I mention a lot in Reanimator is, and it's just an important piece to remember, is that you do have playable threats and then you have non-playable threats without the uh, Reanimator spell. So as an example, we don't have green mana in our deck. We just don't. 
Uh, and for that reason, Coma makes more sense to discard because we can't play it from our hand. If we do get six mana, we can actually play the Olivia's Attendance, seven mana, we can play Lord Xander. We've got options. We don't have those options otherwise. Uh, and so I think it's really important to remember kind of where those pieces need to be uh, to be able to kind of do what you need to do. So let's see, let's go ahead and attack in. Uh, here we can play the Stromkirk uh, and actually put the Coma back on top of our deck if we like, um, which I think I will. So this will uh, eventually flip this is the goal. Uh, and in fact, next turn, if it sticks around, it's going to be flipped. Oh, they have a coma of their own. Okay. <laughs> uh, maybe that was not the best call then, but uh, I think it'll be okay. We'll see. Let's go ahead and reveal that. Uh, target attacking creature. Interesting. Okay. Um, again, there's some learning to do on my end for some of these cards, so I do apologize that I'm Maybe playing a little slow, but I do want to make sure that I understand what we're doing. Um, I don't love the attack with the Slaughter Specialist, obviously, so get in there for a couple damage. Nothing too crazy, of course. Next turn, we do have the Attendance, uh, which is quite good, but we'll see. If we had planned ahead better, well, we would have been in the same place, I think, either way, so wouldn't really matter. I was going to say, I don't know why you wouldn't attack with Koma. Um, I think we just take the six. As much as I don't want to, I think we do just take the six. Um, nice. What a great card. It's very difficult to deal with. Um, yep, Titan is pretty awesome. Uh, what do we do? Really don't have a great option here. So unfortunately, we kind of just have to throw this out and hope for the best. This has been a really interesting deck, by the way. I've seen a lot of this uh, ramp deck, um, the the kind of Simic ramp deck into Coma and these Sky Turtles and things like that. It's a really interesting build. Um, I'm very curious to see how this actually pans out. Okay. Uh, honestly, I kind of just want to land because we've got Lord Xander. <laughs> Uh, that does work exceptionally well with Slaughter Specialists, so that's kind of the hope. Oh, they're attacking with quite a bit here. Um, so that puts them at having to sacrifice one of these guys. So that's 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I'm actually just going to do that. So they are going to have to sacrifice a token uh, to keep the coma, which is fine. I, I mean, we knew they were going to do that, uh, but that puts a 1-1 one -one counter. Ah, missed opportunity. 100% should have blocked with the Slaughter Specialist. Ah, that's okay. All right. Um, we do get a lot of blood tokens out of the deal. <laughs> uh, okay. So we're probably dead. I mean, that's just the reality of it. Uh, but that's fine. Land is not what we were hoping for. Um, hmm. I don't really know what we can do. Like, I don't think there's a lot. Um, we could sack just to discard some cards. I guess that could be good. So if we do this, we discard Titan. Uh, draw a card. Ugh. All right, so then we get Titan back. Um, wait, yeah, that's fine. I guess we should have done Xander just to make them sack half their stuff. <laughs> that would have been way better. Uh, that's okay. I don't think we were going to win this game anyway, but uh, I mean, this is definitely a step in the right direction. <laughs> All right, so um, definitely destroy something. What's the ward cost here? Two. So we'll have to be that. Um, let's view. Let's create a 4 4. Go ahead and blow this up. Um, I don't think we get out of this. Uh, oh, there's just not really a good way to do it. Um, but that's fine. I'm just going to attack with everything. <laughs> so we get a copy of the Slaughter Specialist, which is cool. Um, they get a little 1-1. One -one, but we're, we're dead. There's no way around this. They've got so much on the battlefield, it's ridiculous. Um, yeah. I mean, it does represent quite a bit of damage, though. That is kind of nice. I like the uh, the Lord of the Deep there. That was really cool. 
I've really, I, I love this deck. I think there's something to it. We're not playing it super well, obviously. There's a lot to, to learn there, but I do really like the deck. I think it's kind of fun. Um, but they definitely have us. Let's go ahead and good game them here. Probably should have discarded Lord Xander, you know, but that's okay. Let's jump into a game three, guys. All right, guys, here we are for our third game. Let's hope for just a little bit better this time. I will keep this hand. It's, um, it's a little low to the ground for sure, but uh, there's quite a lot to love about it, so we'll see what happens. Um, I'm going to lead with the uh, the Shipwreck Marsh here. Since we don't have anything to play on turn one anyway, it doesn't really matter. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to think what we need more of. I'm going to go red here. Let's just uh, let's go ahead and get the Bloodcaster down. Nice little card. Uh, we can hopefully start getting some attacks in with it as well, so let's... Yeah, let's go ahead and attack. Easy enough. Uh, we'll play this. I think we will just go ahead and play the Slaughter Specialist. I don't think there's a huge reason not to. I fully expect that they will have... We could have killed it, but I don't think we need to. I think we want to wait until we see something a little more impactful. Land is good. All right. Um, sick. Let's just attack in. See what they have, if anything. Excellent. Um, yeah, I'm actually going to go ahead and do this. I don't know that this is correct, I'll be honest, uh, but it's a nice little three-point swing. It just kind of forces the issue a bit more. Uh, so if they do have a sweeper or something, I feel like now's probably a good time to play it. If they attack in, I think we just block and let our thing die so we can bring it back later. Um, okay. Curious what they could have here. Um, I think we're gonna do this. I'm not sure. I don't know if we attack with the the blood priest or not. Okay, so they are gonna exile that. That's annoying. Um, I'm gonna play this out. No, I don't think we do. All right. Part of me wants to kill the Spirited Companion just so they can't blink it. You know what I mean? Like, that's a little scary to me. Um, but I don't know that this is a blink deck. We'll, we'll see. It's four color, which is interesting. But I think I'd rather kill Soren for sure. Uh, or just this 2-3. Land is good. I do like land. Um, all right, so we do this. We kill the token and then we actually just have some easy attacks in for everything so let's go ahead and kill this um let's get an attack here and let's go ahead and force the issue here as well just keep the pressure up uh they can double block the that's fine awesome uh so we do get a blood token out of the deal i'm actually gonna go ahead and pop that now there's a pretty reasonable chance we get something we can play, and we obviously have a lot we can't play, so perfect. All right, Clearwater Pathway gets us the Olivia's Attendance, which is phenomenal. Um, all too happy to get that down. These little guys are annoying because they do have reach. Oh, well, that kind of just solves our problem, I'll be honest. Um, let's see, what's in our graveyard? So we can get a Cleric and the Serpent. Yeah, that seems good. Target a creature. And we get this. So this is the great part about Thwart the Grave is you do get a nice little immediate two for one, uh, which is pretty sick. Um, I don't think we worry about the Loth, but I am going to force the issue uh, on their life totals. So they're basically forced into a position where they can't just draw extra cards uh, for no reason. If they want to, they can, but they're, they're going to have a hard time for sure. And we do just have the Olivia's Attendance next turn, so like we're... We're in a reasonable shape. Very reasonable shape. I also have... Oh, they are going to draw a card. All right, sick. Um, sure. Obviously digging, which is a great thing for me. I'm glad we're actually getting to see the deck kind of work, because that was what we obviously wanted this whole time. Uh, let's see. Choose one time. Interesting. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> okay, they're really digging. Um, 
yeah, this is fine. They're down to three available mana. I don't think there's a lot. I mean, can't be Vanishing Verse. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. <laughs> uh, sure. Uh, they also pinged themselves down to five, so we actually had lethal already. Well, there we go, guys. We got to see the deck kind of do its thing. Obviously, it was a learning experience, but let's go ahead and wrap this one up. I'm going to try and jump into another recording here because I do want to get videos out for you guys, so I apologize. This is a bit shorter. Let's go ahead and talk about this one. All right, guys. So first and foremost, Cole, thank you so much for sharing this deck. Unfortunately, we did only get one win, but I will just go ahead and say uh, I had more fun playing this deck than I have a lot of the competitive decks in the format. Just off the face of it, this is a more fun deck to play. There's a lot of nuances to it. Cole, I think you did a great job of putting this one together. I don't think if you're looking to meta grind, this is probably the optimal reanimator deck. I think Grixis does a pretty reasonable job so far. Uh, and so I think this one with a nice twist on it is really fun, but I don't think quite as competitive. However, uh, as you guys you guys probably know, here on It Resolves, we're not always about being competitive. <laughs> we're about more, much more about having fun, and uh, thankfully this was a really fun one. Uh, I do think we misplayed quite a bit. Uh, I, I think in the first game especially, we could have done quite a bit better. Uh, but regardless, it was still a blast to play. So Cole, thank you so much. I do hope you guys enjoyed this one. A nice little fresh look at Reanimator. I think that's really awesome. So I was happy to try this one out, and I do appreciate you guys watching. It means a lot to me, guys. Thank you so much. Do make sure you check out the Patreon rewards they will be released tomorrow uh and if you happen to be a patreon this patreon member this month you will be getting your rewards sent out tomorrow so just a heads up uh but thank you guys again i really do appreciate it i'll see you tomorrow